son is 14 years old. Over. Good question, Luann. Yes, we do. We have uh, survival training in case our spaceship uh, lands in a place where it's, it's unexpected. the moon and that is because I think that we need the Mars is a long ways away and we need to make sure that all of our equipment our our, uh, our habitats and our working tools and equipment Into a container, and then we put them in a spacecraft, either a Progress 
a European uh, spacecraft or a Japanese spacecraft that will burn up on the way back into the atmosphere and get rid of all our garbage. Over. But it probably was solar and also batteries. That's uh, what the rover on Mars uses. Over. I would love to. You know, I think I'd probably be a little bit scared, but I think we would have done some research and had some idea what was there. Um, and hopefully there's evidence, you know, there is evidence of water was there at some point in time. So hopefully there is something there that we can find. Over. You know, Ben, that question's a little bit probably over my head. Uh, you know, I've done some studying on astronomy. Uh, when we do look out into the universe, like I was mentioning when I went, mentioned, uh, talked to Alex, um, it does look 3D. There are places out there that we can see that are darker than others. I mean, the black is definitely not just a solid black. There's definitely shades of black, so there is a lot of energy out there. But I don't really have more thoughts except for there's, uh, there's a lot more that we need to discover. Over. which you are held down to with bungees, and that provides a load so you can run and put some stress on your hips and your ankles, which is the bone density areas which we lose. We also have a bike up here where we can work on our cardiovascular fitness, and a weightlifting machine which uses uh, pushing against vacuum to be able to uh, day on ISS is atypical, I guess I would say. There's not very many typical days, lots of variety. Um, and in two days, we're getting ready to go uh, to have a couple of people go out and do a spacewalk. Um, a week or so ago, we received a cargo vehicle on board Space Station. We all day, every day, have very science experiments going on aboard Space Station. We also do ho housekeeping and general maintenance and upkeep of the Space Station system. And when we have spare time, and it's not a lot, but when we have spare time, one of our favorite things is to look out the window and photograph Earth and, uh, and uh, perhaps as, uh, astronomical targets. Uh, for example, the comet uh, Lovejoy back in December. Over. ISS is not entirely self-sustaining. Uh, we work very hard to close the environmental control life support loop. And by that I mean we try to reclaim um, uh, as much of the fluids that uh, humans take in and, and get rid of, we try to convert that back into water. So we have a urine processor that uh, take urine and uh, we, we couple that with a humidity processor and we, we turn out ultra pure water that we then can use to drink we can use to convert into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen we lose overboard, oxygen we breathe. Um, we still need to be resupplied. Space flight is very expensive from a resupply standpoint. It takes about 20 pounds of rocket propellant or rocket uh, tanks or, or rocket bodies to for every pound of useful payload in, 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 uh, in, in orbit. So we want to use as much as we have up here over and over again. Over I'm 
I'm ready for your question. Good question. There are some cases, some areas where we use as cleaning facilities, hygiene facilities, to, to basically take a shower every day. Those are prone to growing bacteria and mold. We are doing research on it right now. Zulu India Echo, SV2 ZIE, this is OR4 ISS. There's some interference. How do you copy me? Over. Zulu India Echo, SV2 Zulu India Echo, this is OR4 ISS, OR4 ISS. There's a lot of interference. Do you want to switch to backup channel? Question, do you want to switch to backup channel? Over. I'm ready for your question. Good question. There are some cases, some areas where we use as cleaning facilities, hygiene facilities, to, to basically take a shower every day. Those are prone to growing bacteria and mold. We are doing research on it right now. Zulu India Echo, SV2 ZIE, this is OR4 ISS. There's some interference. How do you copy me? Over. Zulu India Echo, SV2 Zulu India Echo, this is OR4 ISS, OR4 ISS. There's a lot of interference. Do you want to switch to backup channel? Question, do you want to switch to backup channel? Over. Obviously, have some reserve in case something goes wrong. Over. No, Bridu, uh, not really. Uh, I, I get to see my family once a week, and I can talk to my wife on the phone every day, and my daughters, and so, and I see the earth all the time, and I know that I'm going back in about two months, so I don't, I'm not really homesick. I miss my family. Over.
it, it gets uh, some effects of getting used to, but it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, we use our feet our toes rather than walk around, and uh, it's, it's really a lot of fun. Over. But we do get some medical training uh, in case anybody does get sick. And we have a whole full complement of uh, medicines up here. But we primarily, um, if someone got sick, we would work with the doctors on the ground and use uh, communications, telecommunications to uh, get someone better. Over. Yeah, a couple of us have dropped stuff outside. Uh, my first spacewalk, I lost a camera. Um, uh, but, you know, those things uh, more than likely uh, come back into into the atmosphere. People track that uh, the size of maybe a softball, and then they can uh, see where it's going. But most of that stuff eventually comes back into the atmosphere. Over. get finished with work around 8 o'clock and lunch in the middle there and uh, so then we work most of the day uh, be, you know before lunch and after lunch and then after dinner we'll take time to talk to family and uh, get caught up do some email um, but it's pretty much uh, every day over to do what we call a debris avoidance maneuver where we actually rotate the station. We don't have the ability to move it too far, but we can rotate our orientation or do a reboost to increase our altitude. Over. Looks like Earth is so peaceful and it's uh, so beautiful and what a lucky place uh, we have to live because it's so alive and, and beautiful. So what it really makes feel like is uh, people should all be really nice to each other because we're lucky we have our beautiful planet over.